20% cooler. Uh, hello, YouTube land. I'm here today to not do an unboxing video, but to do a random video showing off some rather unique things I've got. I'm going to show off my autographed DVDs and Blu-rays that I've gotten over time from co various conventions and so forth. So, shall we get started? First off, well, first off, I'm going to grab a different one than that one. Any of you guys into Samurai Jack? Because I have the autograph of the voice of Samurai Jack, which I don't know why it's it's skipping my mind right now. I think it's Little Marsh. Yeah, I met him in Salt Lake City at the Salt Lake Comic Con. Pretty cool guy. All right. I'm going to go into a series of things I've gotten from Ranger Stop in Orlando, Florida. I have the for Power Rangers Super Mega Force. You see, I have the. Wow, my brain just blanked. I have the Blue Ranger, the Yellow Ranger, the Pink Ranger, and the Silver Ranger for Super Mega Force. And of course, Mega Force. I got the same people to sign it the pink, the blue, and the yellow to sign that one. They're pretty nice people, by the way. Worth meeting if you ever get a chance. My all-time favorite dude I met at Ranger Stop, the Blue RPM Ranger, or Flynn, if you can see that right there. He signed it right there for me. Also got pictures with him. Really, really nice guy. And really cool accent. He actually put me on Twitter with him because I had a shirt with his logo on it. And from another Ranger stop from the year before, I got the entire cast of SPD to sign this one. As you can see, right on, all right there. That was a really fun one to go to. If you ever get a chance, you need to go to, if you're into Power Rangers, you need to go to Ranger Stop. Always in Orlando in November. There is one this November there, too. This one I had signed at two locations. I had Jason David Frank sign it right there at Salt Lake Comic Con last year. And that one got a little smeared. But I had the White Ranger sign it right up there. And the Blue Ranger to sign it there. I got theirs at Ranger Stop last year. And I got a picture with both of those guys and with Jason David Frank. Again, really cool guys. He even wrote, you know, Black Dino on the bottom. I actually have his autograph on something else too. But it's in the living room. This one, which says to John on the top, which is me, I got the entire cast of Time Force to sign it at two separate ranger stops. They were really, really fun to be around. But not only that, had the villain sign it, well, I got played Rancic, sign it on the back.
Sorry, I'm not saying their real names because they're totally blanking right now. But maybe I'll look them up and actually put them on the video for you to see. All right. And a couple of years, well, two years ago, at another Ranger stop, leaves are falling. I had the Titanium Ranger sign my Lightspeed Rescue DVD. He's a pretty cool guy. He's has a band and all sorts of things. That year, though, we we're supposed to have the Red Ranger show up too, but he had to cancel, so I didn't get his. Maybe another time. This one I had signed at two separate ranger stops. I had Leo, the Red Ranger, but I think it's Denny's Slavin. He he signed it right there and put Go Galactic on the top. Then last year I had the actor of Kendrick signed for the Pink Ranger. Again. She was really fun to talk to. I think I talked to her for like 30 minutes as she showed off pictures of everything, of all her cast stuff, and she explained why she was had to leave the show, you know, for, for health reasons. But she was really cool, and I got a picture with her. Like I said, she's one of the nicest people you'll ever meet. And then... These two are signed by the same people, but I'll show them off anyway. Last year, we had the entire cast of Power Rangers in space, with the exception of the Pink Ranger, show up. So as you see, they all signed it all around. I just wish, I just really hope the Pink Ranger shows up this year so I can get a full cast. That would be awesome. And I forgot about that, Astronema. Uh, she was there too from two, from two years ago. She signed it there. And she, that's a sweet, sweet lady. Still just as pretty as she was then as she is now. I mean, she's just as pretty as can be. And of course, this one I had the same people sign it. They signed it all over on Turbo, except Justin, the Blue Ranger, showed up, showed up last year or two years ago, and she he signed it up there. And Divatox was there two years ago. She signed it too. And that was a really fun one to get. Okay, now we're past the Ranger Stop stuff, the Power Ranger stuff. On to my others. Anybody into Dragon Ball Z? At Salt Lake Comic Con last year, I met the voice of Broly. He signed it right there. He put two John on there, which I thought that was really awesome. I'm actually looking forward to going to Salt Lake Comic Con again this year and meeting meeting the voices of Vegeta and Goku. And yes, they will be signing some things, and I'm hoping to get some voice clips from them. But this right here is one of my pride and joys. I was so happy to get this because I'm a big Dukes of Hazard fan. At Salt Lake Comic Con last year, they had the Duke Boys and Daisy. And they signed it for me, if you can see all right there. Hope this video is showing it off pretty good. 
and of course I had to get a picture done with them. And funny story, when I was standing in the line to meet old, old Bo Duke John Schneider to get his autograph there, my sister called, and she was she's obsessed with, she was obsessed with him when she was younger, and she she called me asking where I was at in the convention center. And I told her I was going to meet John Schneider. And so I, she, and then I looked over and said, you want to talk to him? Pulled out my phone, handed it straight to him. He got on the phone and started talking to her and she was stuttering because she didn't believe she was really talking to him. <laughs> it's really funny. And then she, I, she told me I made her day because that was like her childhood crush. And so that was like a late birthday present to her. <laughs> and last year at Salt Lake Comic Con, they had old Arthur Darville there from Legends of Tomorrow or Doctor Who, as you know. I had him sign it right there. It's hard to see because it's in gold. But he signed my Legends of Tomorrow Season 1 set as Rip Hunter, which if you ever get a chance, if you've never seen that show, it's really awesome. And I was quite proud of that too. But these things, they stacked up good. Again, another pride and joy of mine if anybody's Arrow fans. Last year, they had a lot of cast from Arrow there at Salt Lake Comic Con. And so I had to get him to sign my Season 2 set. I had Slade sign it, saying I keep my promises. Had uh, Laurel right there, you can see it. We have Diggle right there. And of course, right in the middle, if you can see it right there, it says, you have failed this city, Arrow. And that was awesome. And this year they're going to have another one there. The actor of Malcolm Merlin. And hoping to get him to sign it too. So this thing will be off the chain. Now we're into some movies. It's kind of a mix up here. I'm sure everybody knows Guardians of the Galaxy and Yondu by now. You know, I'm Mary Poppins, y'all. Everybody knows that. Well, before... Last year was before that movie came out. It was just Guardians of the Galaxy. I had them sign my Guardians of the Galaxy set. As you can see right there. And that dude is exactly like he is in the movie. He is a, he's rough around the edges and he's fun to be around. And he will be at Salt Lake Comic Con again this year. So, it's worth going to it if you get a chance. It'll be in September. And then, they had the actor that played Luna Lovegood there last year. I had her sign right there on my Order of the Phoenix DVD. Yeah, she's she's a nice girl. And for some reason, to me, she acts just like she did in the movie. Which, nothing against that. I think she's a really nice person. Alright. Here's a big one. If anybody's a Star Trek fan. See my Star Trek set here? I slide it off. I have old William Shatner right there in the middle yeah I'm glad I got that one I actually got two of his autograph and a picture with him but the other one's hanging on the wall in the living room so don't think I'm gonna be taking that one down to show it off right now maybe later 
And at Salt Lake Comic Con, their sort of mascot there, they had Jess Harnell there. And if anybody knows who that is, if they've ever watched Animaniacs, he's Wacko Warner. And he signed my Animaniacs Volume 1. And he even put, it's a potty emergency. <laughs> That was awesome. That dude, he's there every year. And he is a trip to be around. One more. Because I just... That would be the last one I got, I think. I'd have to dig around see if I'm... See if I missed any, but I don't think I did. Lord of the Rings. If anybody... That's, I mean, if you haven't seen that movie, where have you been? They had an actor from there from them there, from well, this movie there last year, or a set of movies, the actor that played Pippin, Billy Boyd, he signed it right there. And if you can see, he put mushrooms, you know, from the Fellowship of the Rings. I just, that one was awesome. Another one where my sister was there with us, she had to go see him because that's like her other, you know, adult crush. And she's obsessed with him. But I was excited. Just so you know, if you ever see him in, at any convention, even if his line's short, be prepared to wait for like an hour. Because you will be there for an hour. All right, and that should just about do it. If you like this video, just click the old like and subscribe and thing down buttons down there, and and uh, you enjoy your day. Until our next video, thank you. Right, just if you're curious, I do have some other autographs. I do have Mark Hamill's there. Steve Cardenas is on those cards right there. Another William Shatner, which like I said, it's really dark. Hard to see him. And if you're curious, I have, which is really really hard to see. I do have more of the I actually have the Blue Ranger, the second Pink Ranger, both Red Rangers, Green Ranger, second Yellow Ranger, and both Black Rangers there. And Zordon's hidden down there on that autographed and I also have the voice actor for Krillin met him met him in Ocala alright have a great day everybody